Hello, it's Paul, and welcome to another episode of Paul Plays um, Shenzhen IO. So, this um, episode we're going to be dealing with the puzzle animated esports side. So, let's get going. Right, let's have a quick read of it and see where we're at. So, we've got to make this esports sign, which is like an animated sort of flashing um, thing for some. Uh, famous esports player for his fans I believe click 0 and click 1 are simple outputs connected to the display segments drink 0 drink 1 and drink 2 are simple outputs connected to the display segments for a drinking animation and there's a clicking animation so basically what's happening here is we have click zero and click one, which are these top two lines, which are outputs. So like click one is on to start off with, click zero, and it, they sort of click, 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 click. One on, one off per cycle. So I think that would be the logical, if not easy place to start. So let's get going. With an MC 4000. So we have the two P's, so I'm just going to see where I can put this, can I put it here, like that, and if I run it now we're all wrong, so I won't run it now, so what we need to do is, same, so the accumulator, let's just use the accumulator and not it, and keep sort of spitting it out to one and then um, the next one. Sort of like that. So we're going to move. So the accumulator will start at zero. So we need to move the accumulator to what, click one, which is P1. Move accumulator to P1. Not, we'll change it. Move accumulator P0. And sleep for one. And we get this lovely pattern going here. And if we have a look. Yes, her finger is clicking away on the mouse like a true esports professional. Pro gamers and all that. Right. So now the next problem is we have to get these patterns done here, but we've three outputs. Now this only has two outputs and even the bigger one only has two outputs. So what I'm going to propose to do is, having a look here, we have this six cycles on, four cycle off, six cycle on, four cycle off for this drink zero pin here. This is related to this four cycle off. And so I'm going to do, bear with me. That offends my sense of style. So what I'm going to do is just try and get the first thing I'm going to do now is just try and get this drink zero output working. So move. 100, we know 100 is the top value, and drink zero is on P1 to P1. We're gonna sleep for six. We're then gonna move zero to P1, P1, and sleep for four. And now we have the top three working pretty, pretty good. to do is with this one control these two so to do that you would do that to there and that to there 
but as you can see we now have a problem. Even though we do technically have this spare P0 here, we don't have a, a, a P pin. The P pins, we've been using them for, I don't know, we've been using them for inputs as well. There's been some button pushes. So what basically I'm saying is we don't have a P pin to use. So we're going to have to play with these X bus pins. Right. Um, now I presume I could try and bridge over there, but let's not do anything as um, drastic as that. Let's see what we can do here. Now I've been looking at the manual, and if you can read from an Xbus pin, but that blocks, i.e. if there's nothing there, your program will just stall, but it will stall the entire simulation. if you do that and there's nothing on the pin or you can use a command called sl whoop, slx which says sleep until i get something from x0 so basically if we get this chip here to signal this one at this phase here. So let's move 100 to X0. And then let's just try and get this bit here done the drink one so SL I don't know if I have to like once I've sleep until a register I don't know if I need to pull it from it so let's just try that now so move X0 into the accumulator we don't really care we're just looking for a signal from it we've sent a hundred we don't really need to check that because it's not going to send us any other number but a hundred so we can just move X0 into the accumulator to clear out the message on this X bus. I think we need to do that, although I will check at the end by ripping that line out and seeing what happens. So move zero to the accumulator. So when this went into its down state here, it sent us a message. So I need to pulse, wait, wait, pulse. So that will involve move 100. And this is this drink one line we want, and drink one is connected to P0. So P0, sleep for one, move zero to P0, sleep for two, move 100 to P0, sleep for one. move zero to p0 let's have a look at how that performs now yes pretty good so we've done everything here that we need to except obviously we haven't put anything out to drink so hopefully we have enough lines of code left in here To hopefully we have enough lines of code in there to do what we need to on drink two. So let me just reset this. So drink two, basically after that pulse. So it's for this, it's this sleep two here, where this guy here, the drink one is low here, drink one two has to go high so it's so going to move 100 to move 100 to p1 obviously we sleep for two and move zero to p1 p1 has that done it yep it's looking good and there she is drinking her energy drink probably and playing her pro games brilliant 
looking good. So this is interesting because we've used this X-Bus. Now what I was going to do, there's a couple of little things I just wanted to... Okay, so we are much more expensive than most people manage. And we use a bit more. We're on the high end of the party. But I'm going to ignore all that. Right, so I just wonder about this line. Do we actually have to... It's the same as TAS, hash. Um, and guys, it's hash. It's not a pound sign. Like, mm, it's never been a pound sign. Just because it's on some key that may have had a, had a pound, it's not a pound sign. Pound, no. It's a hash. Right. Okay. So that's... Now I've tried to run that again, and I've, all I've done is commented. So I, I sleep until there was something on X0. But now, as you can see, it says blocked, not sleeping, blocked, part not sleeping, blocked on right. So because it did this move 100, even though this slept until there was something there, because this guy hasn't actually done this move, now maybe there is a, a command to kind of sleep and throw away. I don't know. I'd have to check the manual again. It would mean popping up the PDF. I still haven't printed it. I know I need to. It's a lovely manual. Um, so that was just checking that to see... what would happen. And the answer is it doesn't work. So let me reset that and re-establish that line. So the only other thing I thought, but it wouldn't... So we have these items here. That. Now we get the... Again, it's in the manual. presuming that is a not an inverter not 100 sure again too lazy to check the manual pin type mismatch yes i know so if we did nothing with p0 again this is just messing so what i've basically done there is possibly should have done that the other way because I want the P1 is the one I want sorry my mistake so is that when you hover over these devices we get a so I could do that, I could do that, I could break that, break that, break that, go down like that, and comment out that line. Does that still work? Oh, it does. So basically, what I mean, like it, it just, I just wanted to play with this. This is obviously a not gate. So it's just showing the, oh, and we have reduced the cost. No, we've increased the cost a little bit by adding the one, one. Okay, I'm going to call them, I'm going to call them euros. Okay, I don't care. And I'm going to call them, well, and we've dropped the power usage by doing it. So what we've man managed to do is, is eliminate this line by adding this one, yes, one um, Euro LG 70G04 not gate to this. Um, just messing, like, again, makes no difference. We solved the puzzle. I just wanted to have a quick look as well. So we've seen in this puzzle some really interesting new stuff. We've used these X bus gates for a top for the first time to get this so we can get make make um i mean obviously you could have like done two two and just sort of kind of program this one without needing to 
could have just been on his own timer, I guess. Did we really need to do this? I suppose we had it here anyway, and it was giving us the big sort of 6-4 timing to work off. So this guy doesn't need to know anything about his, his timing. All he needs to know about is how to do the timing in this gap of four here. Um, yeah, it's fine. We can maybe be able to optimize some of these lines a little bit at some stage and have a look. But this is interesting because now we start to use multiple components. Like this makes it more expensive, but removes a, a power line there, which is nice. Um, like none of these are an exact inverse of the other. So we can't do anything with them. Anyway, it's been fun. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like on it. If you want to see more of this or want to have a look at Infinity Factory or TRS-100, I have videos on them too. Thanks again for watching. See you guys soon. Bye now.